Imagine creating stunning designs like these with the power of Dream AI using Flux. In this video, I'll introduce you to this game-changing tool and show you how you can easily generate high-quality graphics. Then, see how you can use my designs to instantly publish these to your Shopify and Etsy store as digital or print-on-demand products. So whether you're just starting or looking to level up your store, Dream AI is the future of fast, profitable designs. I'm now on the home page of the My Designs website. If you do not have an account, you can actually sign up for free. Just click login or get started in the top right corner. When you get logged in, it'll take you to our dashboard page. And what we want to do is navigate to the listings tab located just under dashboard. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Our next step is to now create a collection or rather a folder that we can store our designs in. Uh, we can do that by going next to listings at the top here. We can click this home button and then you'll see we've got a bunch of collections here but we want to click add folder and we're just going to name this uh, dream ai demo video and then we'll go ahead and click add new folder and now we're just going to go ahead and search for that folder so dream ai um, demo video here and then we're going to go ahead and click open folder as you can see it says empty listings so our next step is to get some designs in here that we want to start working with so we're going to go over to uh, dream ai underneath create here we're going to click this tab you'll see it has my history of um, images i've generated already and i did generate a bunch of them ahead of time that i can use for this video uh, just to save time um, i will include a document though um, in the description you could download if you'd like that has a um, list of all of the prompts that I've used to generate these images. So in order to generate images using Dream AI, all you have to do once you're here is go select your mode, which right now we're on text to image, and this is what you will use the most. Um, essentially, text to image will just analyze this information you give it, and then once you click Dream, it will output the image based off of this. Um, you can change the number of images you're generating here. You can change the aspect ratio of the images you're generating here. Um, and then you can change the model as well here. We do have a bunch of different models, um, but this video I wanted to focus particularly on Flux. Now, there are three different versions. Schnell is the um, version that's going to give you, it's going to be the fastest, but it's not going to give you the highest quality. Um, Dev is kind of in the middle, and then Pro will take longer to generate, but you're going to get the best results from it. So I recommend using Pro if you're trying to get um, the highest quality of graphics and obviously the best job done on text in particular, which works really well with print-on-demand um, items. Um, so I would recommend using Pro, but once you have this, all you have to do is just click this Dream. And you'll see it pops up here now it's working um, but this will take just a second and then it's going to load four new images um, from the same prompt which like i said is just the same one i use for these three um, any of your old prompts you go through for instance if i click on this one i can now scroll up and it will show me the um, prompt that i use to get these so everything is going to be saved in your history on dream ai um, so you'll never lose it here so I'm going to go through all of these images and just select one from each prompt that I like. Um, so for this first one, I really think that I like this one the best. I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then I'm going to go to the top right corner and we're going to click Save to Listings. Um, we're going to upscale it here. I prefer to do it. You can wait till after this to do it as well. Um, but I like to increase the quality of the image. So I'm going to go ahead and upscale. We're going to be saving it to the same collection we just created. Um, the save mode, we are going to create a new listing rather than saving to an existing listing. Um, and we're going to also save it in our main file slot. Uh, file slots just hold your files, your mockups, your videos, or anything like that. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and click save to listings. Now this will take just a second and then we'll jump to the next one, but I'm not going to go through all of the time um, on the video to show you guys I'm saving each individual one. I'll do it off camera and then resume the video. I've now got six really good looking images here that I've generated um, using Dream AI and Flux Pro to be specific. Um, so now we really just need to start working with these graphics to get them ready to put on print on demand products like t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, or anything like that. 
So what I'm going to do is select all of these um, images by clicking this button at the top right corner. You'll now see I have six out of six designs selected. So in order for these to look good on a shirt in particular, we really have to remove this background because we don't want that to be there. We want it to be transparent. That way it, um, that way it uh, takes on the color of whatever the shirt is you pick. So I'm going to go ahead and just select them all. And then I'm going to go to image here and I'm going to select remove background. So we're going to use the, the main file obviously is the file we want to remove the background of. And then we can choose to store it in a different file slot if we would like. Typically, I just select the same one and override it. Um, if you don't know how well of a job the background removal is going to work, because obviously for certain images, it does a much better job than others. Um, you can just save it in a different um, file slot so that you can keep your original image. But once we do this, all we have to do is click remove background. Um, this will take just a second and then I'll show you what that looks like. Um, and just so you know, this is where all your file slots are stored. So we essentially just use this main file and our new image with the background removed is going to store in this empty file slot right here. Now that the background removal is done, I'll show you what it looks like. So all we need to do is click on the file slot and you'll see it populates the new image. But if we double click on this file slot, it'll do it for all of them. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and then we're going to scroll down here. It looks like the background removal did a fantastic job on every one of these. Um, the only thing here is with this one, it may have cut out some of the stars and stuff that were in the back, but I think we can still work with that. The next step is to just get these files set up in the proper dimension they need to be at to sell on the products that we want. So what we need to do is select all of the products we want to, or excuse me, designs that we want to work with once again. Once they're selected, we can go ahead and click this canvas button. Now from here, we want to go select templates. And for this example on this video, I am using a Bella 3001, which is just a common unisex t-shirt. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now this is our print partners that um, we have through My Designs. I'm just going to select the My Designs print partner and then we're going to select the front print area as we want this to print on the front of the t-shirt. So now that we have our canvas selected, we can just click into it. And what we want to do is click add listing file here at the top right corner. Now, if you remember right, the background removal one was in a different file slot, not our main file because we didn't override it. So it's important you select the right one with the background removed, and then we'll just go ahead and click add to all. Now you'll see it populated for all of my canvases here. So what we essentially want to do is just go ahead and situate these images so that they look better on the canvas. So what I personally would do is maybe reduce the size just a little bit make sure they're more um, oriented towards the top. But this is a really cool thing we have at My Designs is we built it to be able to do everything in bulk. So essentially now that I've modified this one design, um, and this is important if you're working with designs that are all the same dimensions, which we set up ours to be. Now all I have to do is click this image, right click it and click sync. Now once I click this, you'll see these bottom ones will update as well. So now if you notice, they all updated to the same exact size as the first one I selected. So we don't have to go do that over and over. They're also all aligned towards the top exactly how I had this one set up. So once we have these all set up in the way that we want to, all we have to do is click save. And then our output file slot, we can actually set to our main file as that was the one that didn't have the background removed. We can go ahead and just overwrite that file. And then it is extremely important that you save these as a PNG um, for t-shirts or sweatshirts or any print on demand product. If you save it as a JPEG, it will have a white background on it. So if you want um, it to be transparent, make sure you save it as a PNG. Once we have that filled out, we'll just go ahead and click save and then we'll overwrite the files. Um, and that should take just a second. Um, once it's done, the next step is to just jump into the publishing process. Now that those images are done resizing, I'll hover over them so you can see. It's 4200 by 5250 at 300 PPI. That's exactly what we set it up to be. Um, so these are all ready to go. The next step, like I said, is just to go through the publishing process and we can get there by going to the top right corner here and clicking publish. If you're selling print on demand products, you'll select these top ones. If you're selling digital products, you'll select these two. So we're selling print on demand on Etsy. So we'll go ahead and select that. The product that we set these up for was a Bella 3001. 
and our print partner was my designs and this is important to select the same print partner that you select or that you created the canvas for um, because it's set up in the, per, the correct dimensions for my designs print partner. Now it's not that big of a deal as once you get to this area you could just adjust your files on the canvas um, but that's just a couple extra steps you don't have to take um, if, you, if you don't want to. So from here if we want to sell a multi-product listing we can. Uh, we can click add product here and then we'll just search maybe for let's say we wanted to sell a sweatshirt as well. Um, the Gildan 18,000 is a great product as well. I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to show you how in case you wanted to, to do multi-product listings. So from here, if we ever want to adjust the print file, like I said, we can just by clicking here. Um, once you adjust it, make any changes and click save, it will update that for your permanent print file. Um, here's where we select our sizes that we want to offer. And then here is where we select our colors. Um, I'm just going to select white as the t-shirt we're selling. Um, I don't know how well these designs will look good on um, different colors, so I'm just going to use white. Typically, obviously, we would want to select more. Um, and then we can also do mock-ups here as well. We have a huge library of mock-ups available. Um, th these are all for the product we have selected as well. So maybe we're going to do a size chart here. Um, we also want to do a female model and then maybe a male model as well. And then let's just do one more um, flat lay design. Maybe we'll do this one here. Um, and then in order to just populate these mockups, all we have to do is select the color that we want them to show in by clicking like that. Now, the order that these are placed in is the exact order that they will show on, on your Etsy shop as well or your Shopify stores. So make sure you arrange these here in the order you want them to be. And then whatever you want your primary mock-up as, make sure that is your original um, image. So this one will be our primary mock-up. I don't mind that as the primary. Um, I would probably try and find a better one if I was actually selling this. But like I said, I'm just showing you how to do it. Now you can see this is only showing our um, astronaut holding the planet balloons. So if we want to see our other listings, we can go to the top here. You'll see listing preview. Um, we had six selected. So you can filter through these by just clicking this arrow. And then it's going to take a minute to populate all the mockups. But this is how you do it here. You'll see that the size chart is populating um, real time but the others are taking a little longer. So as, as you can see, this one may not look quite as good on a white um, shirt because the text is a little bit um, light. Uh, so obviously you wouldn't want to sell this. I'm not going to try and make too many changes, like I said, because I'm not actually selling them. But this is one we may want to sell on a black shirt instead of a white shirt. Um, once we have all of this filled out, though, um, all we have to do is click populate data. But if you have additional mockups that you've generated ahead of time and saved in those file slots we talked about, you can click this show additional images and then you could just select your additional mockups here. I'm going to toggle that off and then we'll go ahead and click populate data. So we have a feature here called Vision AI. Um, what it does is essentially scans the image that you feed it and then it populates your data um, based off of that image. So typically I would have my data set up ahead of time, but we recently added this feature so that you can just do it right here in the publishing process. So I'm going to go ahead and click use vision AI here. We're going to select all of our um, designs or our listings rather. And then the input file slot is the image we're feeding the AI to go off of, which is going to be our main file. The product type that we're selling is a t-shirt. If you were selling additional products on this listing, like I said, so maybe you had a sweatshirt, you could add custom instructions and tell it here that this is a multi-product listing that includes t-shirts and sweatshirts and to include that in the data. And it does a really good job of it. I've tested that multiple times. Um, but we, the platform we're selling on is Etsy. The model is going to be our newest. And then we want it to generate title, description, and tags. Um, and then we can also do product features as well. So if we select this, what it does is it uses our product, the Bella 3001, and includes the features in the description. So I think that is a good thing to do. Um, now that we have that all done, we'll just go ahead and click Generate Data, and then Yes, Run Vision AI. So that'll take just a second and then I'll run through the data. What I like to tell people with Vision AI is it gets you about 80 to 90% there. Um, I always like to analyze the data, make sure there's no words in there that I don't want it to use, and then replace some of the keywords with some that I think will perform better than what it's given me. 
So once that's done, well, it looks like it's done now. I'll go ahead and show you. So this one is for the Trump t-shirt. We'll go to a different one as well. I just want to show you guys it does populate all six of them. So you'll see this data looks fantastic. I'm not going to go in, through it and make any changes like I said I typically do because I'm not actually selling these. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So once we have this all done, all we have to do is click choose prices. You can update all your prices at once here. As you can see under size, it says all, color, it says all, and then replace. So I'm gonna go ahead and say 33.98 and then click apply and you'll see that applied across the board. And if we go to our other listings as well, you'll see it did it to all of them at once. So if you wanna make changes to a specific price point, like let's say we wanted to change the 3XL to be a bit more because obviously you get charged for bigger shirts. We can just select 3XL here on all colors and let's say 35.98 and then click apply and now you'll see that that updated there so once we have all of the pricing done how we would like it to be we can go ahead and click preview publish info now this just gives us one last look of what our listing looks like before we publish it so as you can see it's showing our primary mock-up our title our description, which included the product features that I talked about here, and then our tags are highlighted in blue at the bottom. And you'll see that that happened for all six of these that we um, did at once. Now we'll see here is our store preview, Etsy, the MDV SVG shop is just a um, test shop that we have for making videos and stuff. And then you can um, make changes here. If you're doing a personalized product, you can select that. Um, and fill out that data, but none of these are personalized. And then it also shows our sizes and our colors here that we're offering. So now that we're done with that, all we have to do is click publish and that will take 20, 30 seconds. And then I'm gonna jump over to our Etsy shop and show you guys what it looks like there. So I'm now over on my Etsy shop and as you can see, I'm in my draft folder. Everything that is published through my designs to Etsy will always go to your draft folder as you're required to pay that 20 cent listing fee. Um, to get it live. So I can show you an example. If we click this and then click publish, you'll see that it's charging is 20 cents. So I'm not going to do that. I just wanted to show you guys how. Um, I hope everything in this video made sense, but that is how easy it is to generate images using Dr Dream AI and Flux Pro specifically, and then using my designs to then publish them on products. So if you like this video, please uh, like it, comment on it, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future my designs updates.